Hey everybody, it's Peter Nielsen, and as promised, I want to continue to give you digestive health tips. I remember going back 20 years ago, I said if I ever get healthy, if I truly ever get my life back, I was going to serve and truly pay it forward. And I wanted to do these digestive health tips, seminars throughout the world. And here I am trying to love on each and every one of you. No matter what you're going through, I just want to let you know that tomorrow the sun shall shine and it's something called dawn and it's a beautiful thing. You know, through my own life, I've I realized that there are a couple of areas that you really need to put a check in to make sure that you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's. And what I want to do today is just give you really quick news you could use if you have inflammatory bowel disease, whether it's Crohn's disease, IBS, um, ulcerative colitis. Uh, it's a devastating disease and for most of you that know my story, um, I was diagnosed when I was very young, went from 135 pounds down to 86 pounds, uh, lost a foot of my intestines then in the late 70s and, and then um, uh, 2001, uh, March 7th at 2.14 in the morning, I went into cardiac arrest. They lost me for some time and put the fibrillators on me three different times during almost an eight hour surgery and took another 13 inches of my ileum out. And um, all I could say is that every day I get up and I don't have pain, I am filled with gratitude. And that's what I want for each and every one of you is there is no perfect person, but when you truly believe again, find your reasons why, um, life opens up. And I, I always say to many people that probably one of the most important things you could ever do is change your mind. So the first component that I want to talk about today um, out of the a few that I'm going to mention is that mindset, that mind change. As I've mentioned, and many people have heard me on stage or on my TV show, um, you can change everything on the inside, but if you don't change your mind on the inside, nothing will truly change. You can change your hairstyle, your address, your occupation, the person who you're dating, but if you don't truly have a mind shift, if you don't truly believe it, speak it, see it, and put a change in your everyday life, then nothing's gonna change. You may look different, you may live somewhere else, you may work in a different place, you may be dating or married to someone different, but nothing truly spiritually, mentally, psychologically is gonna change. If you get your mind out of the gutter, you'll get your health out of the gutter. If you get your mind out of the gutter, you literally will get your finances and different aspects of your life out of the gutter. So it's very, very important that mental toughness, that mind shift, that mind change um, when you're dealing with a disease that has no cure because psychologically it wants to tear you down. It wants to beat you up. Do you know how many times I've had people in my own life tell me, Peter, you look good, but see, something on the inside was like a time bomb that wanted to kill me, and it's called Crohn's. I have an autoimmune system that runs amok, and whether I'm eating something or dealing with stress, if that disease that, you know, really wants to take no prisoners, it wants to just check you out, uh, disease comes for one reason, to kill and destroy. Um, I need to mentally be prepared so that mental toughness is important for you. And I can't emphasize it enough. And when you're thinking something, you need to believe it. And when you believe it, you will embody it and then you will live it, you will become it. But what you speak today is what you prophesize tomorrow. So you need to speak I'm going to feel better, I'm going to be healed, I'm going to be more successful, I'm not going to be angry. You need to truly speak those words. 
And what you think this morning is how you live today. So it's so vitally important. I can't emphasize that mental toughness, that mind shift, changing your mind will truly open up your life in a way that you you probably never have realized. I'll leave this with the mental aspect. Many people will ask me, how do I lose weight? How do I have a successful marriage? How do I heal? Um, how do I be more financially successful? How do I um, work out and gain muscle? I think you're asking the wrong question. With all due respect, you should be asking yourself and then whether it's a life coach, a fitness expert, a doctor, why? See, when you find your reasons why, when you have the reason why that you want to work out, that you want to get healthy, that propels you. It catapults you to the next level. So if you find out why you want to get up in the morning to to do your, your job, your occupation, if you find out why you want to be in a marriage with somebody, if you find out why you want to live, amazing things are going to happen. So again, it, it comes back down to that mental toughness, that mind shift. Find your reasons why, and you truly will make a commitment between yourself and your creator. When you find your reasons why, you speak that. You journal it, you document it. That is so amazingly important. The, the second component that I feel is important is the, the exercise. You need to make sure that you have a strong cardiovascular system. You need to make sure that you're physically fit so that if and when that disease comes out of remission and you have a bad day or a bad week or a bad month, or you get sick and you end up in the hospital, the stronger you are, the stronger you're gonna be able to kick the butt of this disease. So exercise is important and resistance training is going to make you strong so that you can get up, whether it's out of this chair or whether it's out of a car or whether it's just walking. Cardiovascular um, is very important too because what that's gonna do is give you the the endurance to be able to endure some terrible days that you may have with your Crohn's disease or with colitis or any intestinal disorder. So exercising is important. The other aspect, which is the third and final that I want to talk to you today is nutrition. You know, you are what you eat. And I always say have food work for you, make food work for you, not against you. It couldn't be truer because 60 to 70% on how you look and how you feel has to do with what you put in this little circle called your mouth. So make sure you're diligent at the breakfast, lunch, and dinner table. If you know certain foods because you're documenting it, which you should, then you should stay away from it. I don't care how good it tastes. The food sometimes it tastes good that are, are causing ulcerations in your your large, your small intestines or colon, it wants to tear you up. It may make you bleed internally. Do you want it that bad? I hear some ridiculous stories of people even in the hospital who are eating fast foods, fried foods, alcohol, smoking. It's bringing their disease out of remission and they're saying, I can't live without that food. Well, guess what? You're not gonna live, period, if you don't get your poop together at the breakfast, lunch, and dinner table and eat right. You need to respect your body and respect your temple. And I say that with passion, not with arrogance. I say that because I've seen more people than I like to mention die at a young age from Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. So if you know certain foods that are going to be hypoallergenic, that are gonna keep you in remission, you're gonna to listen to your doctor, you may be on certain medication that you need to be on, you're gonna exercise, you're gonna have a mind shift. All these things are gonna to amount to one thing, you winning in life. And that's what I want for each and every one of you. So as you go through this day, as you go through this week, don't feel sorry for yourself. And if your, your tummy, if your stomach, your intestines is bothering you, documented food is gonna affect you 
within four hours or 24 hours. You will end up knowing what, what bothers you. But don't be a glutton for punishment. Be kind to your body. It's the only body you'll ever have. Until next time, God bless each and every one of you.